Good morning, friends. Welcome to Take Two for this Monday, the 9th of September, 2019. I'm Jeannie. I'm so glad you decided to come along for the ride today. Well, today's Take Two is titled, When the Yard Sale is Over. <laughs> Let me tell you, boys and girls, there was so much preparation that needed to be done with my big mega three-family yard sale. And then finally, we got the yard sale done, and I just kept looking at the calendar uh, this morning, and think, I'm sorry, yesterday morning, Sunday morning, and saying to myself, it's the 8th of September, it's the 8th, that means the 7th is over. <laughs> For so long, I told so many people, don't forget, the 7th of September, that's the yard sale. Let me tell you how it went. Uh, we got up at 4 o'clock in the morning. By 10 after, quarter after 4, with coffee in hand, we were outside already dragging the tables and bringing out all the boxes that were marked so that we could display everything. We had furniture that we had put out the day before, and everything was just ready to go. Do you know, boys and girls, that there were people already at our doorstep at 4.30 in the morning, mostly like antique dealers, folks like that who wanted to see if they could score a big deal and, uh, and then make some money on it. But it was remarkable at how people are diligent to get up in the morning and to go do a thing like that. And let me tell you, it wasn't long. We were supposed to have a 7 a.m. start. We'd already sold a bunch of stuff before 6 o'clock. And that got me really thinking about the diligence that people will put into going yard sailing. It's remarkable, but they will do it. They get up. They get going, they get in their car, they've got their dollar bills, and they are ready to do some bargaining. And it is amazing to me that that much effort and energy is put into that so that they could get a bargain and save a few bucks. Well, how many things do we really put that much effort into? Do we put that kind of effort into our families? Do we put that kind of effort into our jobs? Do we go to work and just do the absolute minimum? Students, do you go to school and do the absolute minimum? Do you not bother putting any energy and effort into things? Well, I do know this. If you want excellence, you've got to work at it. Excellence isn't just dropped on your head like raindrops coming down from the sky. You have to work at it. So if you really mean it and you really want to do your best, have that kind of uh, enthusiasm and that kind of diligence that these yard sailors had that came out and got the best bargains at the early hours. And, you know, we did laugh because it was still dark out, and I was saying to one lady who was buying some stuff from me, ha, ah, the early bird gets the worm, doesn't it? <laughs> and she really did do well. Well, I just want to encourage you, boys and girls, to go out and be a blessing to somebody today. You know, you might end up being the only one who is, but not only that, put that kind of effort and encouragement into being a good friend to somebody today. Do that same kind of diligence that those early birds did when they came around looking for some bargains at my yard sale on Saturday. Hey, listen, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jeannie Sigler, J-E-A-N-N-E-S-I-G-L-E-R. Hit that subscribe button and uh, give me a little thumbs up. Give me a little like. I would appreciate it. And um, I will see you tomorrow for terrific Tuesdays. Uh, take two. I love you all very much. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.